Good morning. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Yo, Buckus. Any of y'all seen Rocky? Y'all seen the original Rocky? You'll know where that saying comes from. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jenna. Good morning. Hey, Janine. Good morning. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Amy. Hey, Christy. Hey, Cindy G. Good morning, Millie. Good morning, Robin. We may have a small group this week, but but that's good. That's good. That means we can get more intimate. That's right. Intimacy is uh, it's, it's a, a precious thing. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that intimacy is a precious thing? I have, if you've never studied about intimacy, you may believe that intimacy is a sexual term. <laughs> It is not. I can prove it. Um, <laughs> did a half marathon sun, uh, Saturday. Praise the Lord. Great job. This uh, The Edwards have become very mobile. They are definitely not sedentary uh, anymore. They are on the move. That's great. Great job. Good morning, Deb. Good morning. Good morning, Kristen. I see you popped in there. Anybody else I miss? Good morning to you. Sorry if I have missed your uh, calling your name. Now, look, um, I think the best form of intimacy is um, being what we would call gut level honest. Um, some might say brutally honest, but here's the thing. When, when you're sharing something that is gut level honest, it's typically about ourselves, not about somebody else. If you are being honest, gut level honest, you're peeling away all of the things if, uh, that, that the layers that hide those things maybe they may even be things that we're hiding perceptively like you perceive like I perceive that I'm hiding them but the truth may be that they are glaring uh they are glaring defects or whatever maybe secrets who knows what they are uh but um becoming comfortable uh, be, uh let me say this it may even better way of saying it becoming fully acquainted with those things of the gut uh, allows reproof and if and uh, when we can be uh, uh, accept reproof or the truth response uh, a truthful response to our perception or miss uh, or or misconception you know sometimes sometimes most of the time Janine I think I know um, exactly how it is, and God puts people in my life, in my path, that that say, "No, you you are uh, you are not fully informed, Jason. You have you have uh, your idea, and then there is my idea, and somewhere in the middle there probably is a much more uh, clearer view of." The, the truth, the way that it actually is. Welcome to day one, week two of our five-day self-mastery challenge. If you've never done a challenge with me, welcome. My name's Jason, and I'm going to be uh, your accountability partner, hopefully, if you'll let me be, for these five days. Uh, if you have failed to uh, fully understand the challenge, uh, you will eat off the food list every day in any combination you want, so long as your food combination does not exceed 400 calories, calories, calories to be in compliance. Um, for best results, although Shibboleth 
condiments are allowed, up to 50 calories of Chabot approved condiments are allowed. I would suggest that you work those calories into your, uh, to your calorie uh, total. If you, if you would like to, um, if you would like to use proper food combinations from the lit, from the chart, the food list, it's called the food list, you will most likely get slightly better results. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But um, it is not a requirement, Amy, that you eat proper food combinations when you eat off of the food list. This gives you some uh, autonomy to pick the foods that you maybe haven't been eating or, or like the most and consume them in a way that is portioned um, to where you're not in uh, trouble. Now, there is an extra freebie snack type list on the food list. You may get one of those a day, not one of each one of them. If you choose to, you may use one of them as an eating episode. You get three eating episodes a day. Okay, Jason, if I get three eating episodes a day and I wanna have an extra, does that count as an eating episode? We won't call that an eating episode Okay, we won't call that an eating episode. We'll call it what it is, an extra. We'll call it what it is, a snack. Call it what it is, a freebie. The eating episode should be bound to the 400 calorie max rule. And is, there, is that making sense with everybody so far this morning? Now, if you uh, fail to understand fully the instructions, and I hope, Janine, what I just explained, what I just explained, helps everybody look at the food list with fresh eyes, okay? You're looking at that food list, look at it with fresh eyes now. What on here do I rarely eat, although I love, and am I willing to portion it in a way that makes sense to me and see what it happens when I get on the scales tomorrow, okay? Portion control, calorie restriction, uh, we'll just call it calorie control, maybe not restriction, uh, unless you're like me and you really have a hard time with uh, uh, overeating. Okay, overeating has always been my problem. Uh, I can eat the right foods in the wrong portions uh, uh, and to my detriment, okay? Uh, anyway, so that's that's level one. Level two is we weigh in every morning. This is uh, This is just... Um, to check the, the direction of the wind, okay? That's all it is. If y'all have ever been outside and uh, maybe on the golf course, we, I, we always did it on the golf course, if, and you'd, you'd wet your finger all the way around, hold it up, and see which way the wind's blowing. That's all we're doing when we get on the scales. Am I staying the same with what I did yesterday? Am I going down with what I did yesterday? Am I going up? Stay the same or going down? You may pick from the food list again and eat with autonomy. If the weight is going up, you do a wow challenge. Now, a lot of us over the last week uh, have said, Jason, how is it that I can have, quote unquote, this food? I want, can I add this food to the challenge? I tried to include all the whole foods that I believe are going to be manageable. Now you may say, well, green beans isn't on there or something like that on there. Those are okay. Okay, and if you need specific foods approved that are whole foods and you wanna work out calories with those, get with me, but for the most part, those are gonna be yes answers, okay? With the exception of some category three beans, I probably will say yes. But um, this bar or that bar or this meal replacement or that meal replacement, if those are really things that you want during this challenge, get a wild challenge that utilizes those foods because we do want to lose weight, right? We do want what happens tomorrow when I get on the scale and I do my wind uh, exercise to be able to, if I want to, choose the foods that I want from the food list. Now, if that's not important to you, pick a wild challenge every day. No problem. Yeah, that, that, okay. Now, on to the 
uh, the, the, let me ask first, does that make sense? Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Um, does that make sense where we are, where, through what I'm explaining so far, I'm going to take uh, some coffee. Anybody got questions? Let me, let me ask that. Does anybody got questions? Does anybody have questions? Good morning, Susie. Um, about food list, weigh in, or um, wow challenge. Any questions in that part of the challenge? Awesome. I'm glad you're here, Chrissy. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, everybody uh, that wants to participate getting in the challenge today. Today's the day. Um, and, and like I said, anybody's got battle buddies out there that wants to challenge, uh, that you want to get in on the challenge, let them know that they, we need to sign in today to the challenge to get into the group. Uh, of course, if you're here from last week and you're not challenging this week and you want to continue on the with the roundups, that is already a, an approved thing. Hey, Angela, did I, did I already, good morning you, good morning. Um, now, next on the list is the worksheet. Some of you have done the worksheet and feel good about it. How many of you did the worksheet for yourself and didn't turn them in? It's fine, right? It's all right. I know some of us, uh oh, I got a bug after me. <laughs> some of us have done the worksheets and turned them in. Some of us have hopefully done the worksheets for ourselves and really got into um, the issues of our gut. That and that is that is what I'm what I'm trying to get at here with this next uh, part of my explanation for this morning's roundup. If you are, are just doing the eating and not doing the, the worksheets, that's fine too. It's not, a, it's not a, a, a mandatory thing for the badge. It's not mandatory for the badge. However, I hope that um, the self-mastery aspect of this challenge will be worked out in a, some sort of inward, inward reflection, okay? Um, I, I want you guys to reflect inwardly on what makes us do and not do the things that we want to do each day. Um, now, last, last week, some of you may be uh, wondering what, what, what I'm going to talk about spiritually. So last week, we talked about um, empowerment. Let's, I'm just going to say that. If you missed it last week, um, hopefully um, that's not a bad thing. If you, if, you, if you did get into roundups last week, we talked about empowerment by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. We talked about Jesus a lot last week. We really, I feel like um, I got a little closer to the Lord last week. I know I feel his presence today. I hope that you, uh, if you did participate in roundups, that nothing I said felt um, foreign to you. And, it, and, it, and if it did, I hope that you're ready to ask questions about that. As I really would love to get into uh, those type of things. Today, um, I've got a little bit, I do have notes today, you're welcome. A little bit different, I wanna start in the Old Testament today. For Roundup today, if y'all want to get your, your Bibles out or if you want to have some uh, notes to uh, study on later, Proverbs chapter 6, uh, and I want to start today in verse 20, yeah, in verse 20. Um, I tell you what, if you really want to um, feel, to work on conviction, on and you really want God to speak to you, if I, let me just talk about me, if I want God to speak to me, okay, getting in the Proverbs um, and listening to the wisdom and the knowledge that is being passed down through them, if I will just read those Proverbs 
and apply them to me, um, I will get conviction. I, I, I just, I, it just happens. It, and, and I believe that's part of having the Holy Spirit that lives inside of me, okay? I really do. Jesus, Jesus, when Jesus was alive on the earth before he was, um, before the, the crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus often spoke uh, in, in large crowds, and there was always some people there trying to catch him, trying to catch him, trying to, and, and in that exercise of trying to catch the Lord, either doing something wrong, saying something wrong, invariably, invariably, he would speak some proverbs to him. He would, he would say something in a parable or in a way that made them have to come back to the teacher and ask a question. And that's what Proverbs do for me when they convict me. They make me go to the teacher and ask a question so I can be reproved. And Jesus would say, hey, if you feel like you're, you're, you're listening, I'm gonna shut your ears. If you feel like you're, you're uh, in other words, if you feel like you already know, then this one's not for you. If you feel like you don't know, I've got something for you, right? Um, it'll cause the blind to see, and I'll cause the, those that see to be blind, in other words. Listen to what Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20 says. My son and daughters, my children, let's just go there. Keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. I want to, uh, give a little bit of prophecy here from Jason, uh, or, or at least biblical interpretation. I believe that uh, he's talking about the commandments of God and the commandments of Jesus right here. My, my, my children, keep thy father's commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother. Um, listen to what it says, bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. Now, these are, if you read Proverbs chapter six, you'll get an idea of what the, the literal sense of what Solomon was saying here in these wise sayings, okay? Because he is really talking about some hard truths. This is, this is a chapter of hard truths. Like, only things you would learn the hard way. Okay? Can I, can I, can I say that again? The hard, only things you would learn the hard way. Okay? And why, why, why would, if you were, if I were, if, if you, Amy, let's say you, you have some children, you're, you would say, hey, this is what I learned from my mom and dad. They've worked good for me. How have they worked good for me? Because I've either done them and got the reward of the blessing or I've not done them and I've got the reward of the curse. So they've stood the test of time. Okay, the test of time is, is I either applied them and they work or I didn't apply them and they work. <laughs> my sons and daughters, my children, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. What do I want to do? Bind them continually upon thine heart. So I need, they need to be, they need to continually be kept in the front of my thoughts. Bind them, my heart, my heart is up here. And that if I'm continually, continually, I'm sorry, binding them in my heart, upon thy heart, I need to be able to see them. So they need to be fresh. The commandments and the laws. Whose? God's and Jesus's, right? They're good for me. They're good for me. I got to keep them where I can see them. Now look, and tie them about thy neck. So what does that mean? To you, to me, it means if I'm tying them, I've got to, that they've got a weight about them, right? They have, if, if I take and tie a string to them and I put them on my neck, that they're going to be heavy. So not only do I want to be able to keep them in my thoughts, they need to be something that I that, that are important to me. I need to remember these things are important to me, but I also need to feel the weight of them. 
okay? I need to know, I need to put them on and wear them on my neck so I can, so they'll, they'll have some weight to them, okay? Now, that way, and it's explained here, when thou goest, it'll lead thee, okay? And when thou sleepest, it'll keep thee, okay? So when I'm doing the things that I'm doing, right? It's going to be the, my true north. It's going to be my guide in life. It's going to be, it's going to be, oh, the wind's blowing that way. Okay, so that's the way we're going. Okay, now. And when thou wakest, it shall talk with thee. That sounds good, right? When, when, when I'm fresh in the morning, hey, top of my thoughts, the, the things of my way, these are the things that are important. God's commandments, Jesus' instruction, Jesus' law. Now watch, for the commandment, God is a lamp, right? And the law is light. Have y'all ever read John chapter eight? Um, I can't remember the verse, but it says, I'm the light of the world. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of light, right? Listen, for thy commandment, is a lamp. There's the lamp. What's coming out of the lamp? The law is light. Jesus is light. Now, and where I'm going with my with my with my reasoning for these uh, few verses, Proverbs chapter six, verse twenty through twenty three. Listen, and in and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Reproofs of instruction. Are the way of life. When y'all are self mastering this week, doing it unto the Lord, doing it unto yourself, doing it through your uh, accountability partner, me or whoever you're having to 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 grade your performance with you and me. I want y'all to remember, reproofs of instruction are the way of life. They're not the way of death. Okay, that's probably the main lesson of intimacy that I've ever learned, that I've ever learned, right? And, and I mean, even if I were just to talk about with my wife in my most important relationship, my closest relationship, when we're, when we're in one accord and we're uh, on the same page, that there, we already know we're in one accord. But hey, when we are not on the same page, we need to be on, get on the same page. Right, and the only way for that is intimacy. The we have to uh, be willing to say what's going on in our gut, right, and get on the same page. Re reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So let's try to, together this week, if you will, in these five days, to remember to 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 keep God and Jesus. And the things that they say we ought to be thinking and we ought to be doing, found in the front in in, in our in our in our heart, right? In on our heart, I think it says was the was the exact words. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. Let's remember to do that as we uh, traverse this self mastery challenge together, um, and uh, we'll. Let that be a short lesson for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Anybody want to ask me anything uh, about the, the questions? Be sure to uh, remember my, my email address is really easy, J-A-S-O-N-W-N-A. If you think Jason W and then add North America to it, N-A at gmail.com, at gmail.com. Send me those uh, pictures of your worksheet. Send me your digital. A lot of you have figured out that the form is fillable and how to send it as such. Um, but I hope you enjoy the challenge. Be sure to weigh in today. Get those pictures taken. And um, also let me know if there's uh, anything we need to be praying about. Okay. That way I'll make sure to get that in on uh, our prayer request. Hey, Jen. Hey, Andy. Good morning. Glad y'all made it. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to stop the recording.